Hey guys, Phoenix here, back with more Persona 4 Golden! Now, it's been about four months since I last played this game. Uh, right. I believe the last thing that happened was the uh, school festival happened. We had that super awkward thing at the hot spring, which I don't want to talk about. And now we're here. And sometime between the previous day and this day is when the events of Persona Q Labyrinth on the 3DS happened. Just a fun fact. Uh, don't, don't worry too much about that. You came back from the Amagi Inn. You have the day off today because the Cultural Festival was on Sunday. You're filled with... Oh, wait, no, wait. Uh, without any clues, I do now is wait for incident to progress. What should you do? Well, I tell you what I do. I do what I want. Nope. Wrong, I don't get to do what I want. Because I get a phone call from fucking Yosuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. Uh-huh, sure. What do you want now? You're free today, right? Nope. Can you give me a hand here? I'm busy. I'm begging you. I'm so busy. Can't do shits. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. Well, that sounds like your fault. Not mine. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. Just, just shut up. Shut up. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. I have other plan. No, I don't really have a choice. So if I don't do yes. it, he'll just complain to Chie, and Chie will complain to me. But okay. whatever. I'll see you at the food court. Blah blah blah. Yosuke hung up. You should have, head over to Junez. Don't tell me what to do. God damn, Yosuke. It's all your fault, I'm sure it is. You and Yosuke are working hard at putting up on decorations. Who puts up decorations day of? Oh, my back hurts, but I'm finally done. <laughs> my back hurts. Also, don't think this scene was in the original. I feel like I would definitely remember my character being in a top hat. You're too slow! Huh? Wait, did you finish before me? Yes. Why didn't you say anything? I was working my butt off on my own. Because it was fun watching you suffer. But man, that costume's a good fit for you. Don't, don't try to butter me up, Yosuke. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. Uh, is that a... Is that a compliment? I don't know if that's a compliment. You should wear one too, brah. Of course. I'll put mine on once things get uh -huh, underway. Sure. I wouldn't ask you to do it if I wasn't going to do it too. Except you're literally having me doing it while you're not doing it. So, fuck you. Anyway, you were a lifesaver. Thanks. Then again, as long as he's here... God... Okay, I sort of like that. It, it looks like he's having fun. I sort of like the fact that his head got replaced with a pumpkin. That is Guess good. He's like Yosuke, move your head. Mascot now. I, I want to I see Teddy. Move your head, Yosuke. Very cute. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? Yosuke, please tell me we were supposed to be doing this and you didn't just, you're just not an idiot. Please, please. Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke, good. That got canceled a while ago. Motherfucker. God fucking damn it, Yosuke. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. <sighs> okay, now to be fair, in Yosuke's defense, they really should have a calendar with, like, like they should have an event calendar with this stuff on there. 
it's possible they do and Yosuke didn't check it though. So God damn it, Yosuke. <laughs> this, this is amazing though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Ha ha ha. Too late. Stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. <sighs> Although the fact that not a single employee called Yosuke on it either is another thing, but whatever. Yosuke apologized and gave you a thank you gift before you went home. Let me guess, the costume. Yep. Cool. I mean... Oh, man. I just did get a new costume, didn't I? It's cold today. Okay, Nanako, we'll turn on the heat. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society Oop. visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. The fog makes things wet because it is moisture in the air. I will take my Nobel Prize now. Thank you. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. Uh, what? It's... That makes no sense, but sure. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. I mean, it's fog, so it came from the body of water that's nearby. Just throwing that out there. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. Also, yeah, that those effects will have been shown up years ago. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. Okay, see now, this announcer guy knows what he's talking about. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. I really want to know who the voice actor is for this announcer. He is very, very punctual diction for all of his words. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog, about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Shockingly, most of their anxieties were about either homework or the fact that Jimmy stole their juice box. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. What? Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. Yeah, that's good. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded. But some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. That's probably true. The news continues. Does <gasps> Zuntai Nanako? My head hurts. Oh no. Nanako's face looks red. No, Nanako, no get sick. She has a high fever. I've never been able to do that to someone. Like anytime I try. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I can't tell if your temperature is higher than my temperature by doing that. Is that a skill people have? I don't understand. Use a thermometer. Why'd you put her on- whatever. Hey, big bro. Are you... going back home in spring? Shit. Uh... It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? <gasps> Do you want to make a snowman? We can play a lot. It, to be, for the record, this game totally predates Frozen by like a decade. Let's play all the time until spring. Oh, uh, for you, Nanako, sure. Nanako seems to have fallen asleep. Under the covers, thank you. You should take her to her bed later. So 
the college professional is over. Oh man, winter's on his way. Now we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating is really popular, isn't it? All right, this may be gym class, but I'm going to give you an English lesson. Think of his mental strength at training. Ha <laughs> ha! Tell me what the figure in figure skating first to. Ah uh, shit! It's not that one, obviously. I want to say geometric shapes. My knowledge is already maxed out, so it doesn't matter if I get these questions right anymore. That's right, the figure in figure skating is shapes! Original figure skaters had to draw specific shapes in the ice and were judged on their accuracy. Personally, when I hear the word figure, I think the action figures. Heh <laughs> pew pew, those scares look like beautiful dolls anyway! <laughs> oh wait, is that sexist? Ah oh, shit, I'm fired. You answered correctly. Your knowledge has increased. Uh, thanks, Mr. Kondo. Can, can I play the game? Nope, guess not. Who wants to hang out today? Please be Naoto, please be Naoto. Yay, Naoto! Good day. I'm not quite used to meeting you here at school. Ah, yes, there haven't been any further developments regarding the card. I suspect that is mostly a prank in poor taste. I apologize for troubling you with it. Naoto seems calm, but maybe you should walk her home after school. Hell yeah. Quest is vended, blah blah blah. Just don't care. Now, let's hang out. Hello. The day, Phoenix san Ah, yes, do you have time you can spare with me today? Now, has asked you out. Yes! Come think that someone had sent now to a mysterious card, blah blah blah. Walk now to home. Yes, and please and thank you. Walk her home anyway. It's Nato's holding a card. That's card again. Yes. Yes. It's unmistakable. Nato nods firmly. Judging by its appearance, it's on the same card stock, the same size, unsigned, just like the last time. It's almost certain this came from the same person. Let's talk about this someplace more private. Yes. How is this more private? We're literally in the open. Whatever. Some got a floodplain. You checked out the card with Naoto. The card reads as follows. Dear detective, your prize possessions are in my hut. Can you recover them? The game is afoot! The Phantom Thief. Hmm. It seems this is the work of the figure who snuck into the Shogane estate. I'll send this to... Yakushiji-san, so he can turn it into the police as evidence. <sighs> the Phantom Thief helps, sir. I have no time to waste on this. Running away from a challenge? Huh? Running away! Mm. Now though seems to have gotten angry. Oops. <laughs> he broke into our state and sent me this challenge. Leaving this in the police's hands could jeopardize the honor of the Shogani name. Ah, that's why I don't like this. When I'm with you, I always seem to lose my composure. I don't want to get involved with this sort of childish game. But to ignore it only makes me angry. <laughs> Good luck, no. Let's catch him together. Of course we will. You're the one who brought this to my attention. <sighs> hmm. Let's work together on this. Now until fidgeting with embarrassment. You decide to accept the Phantom Thief's challenge with Naoto. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown yet deeper. You're filled with determination. And blah blah blah. New ability, Mind Shard. Ooh. Yeah, I don't imagine me using Megadola. And if I do, I'm pretty sure she gets the stronger version of it later anyway. So...
Now that it's been decided, let's re-examine the first card. There must be some sort of hint there. And, oh, and of course, I only tend to investigate this case in our free time. I have something else I must do. I'll see you again. You're welcome, part away with Naoto. Cool, thanks, bye. Welcome oh, home! Welcome home, big bro! Blah blah blah, save me. Uh, blah blah blah, what do you want? What do you want? Wanna go give me a Ryuga stone? Cool. And some diet food. 1400. Bead melon. Uh, I'll get the Ryuga stone, I guess. Thank you. Almost missed this. You only have it till Tuesday. Which means this is probably the most easily missable one in the game. And let's do some reading, I guess. Well, maybe... let's see. I forget... what these do. Diligence... I can't, I can't, I need to get my understanding maxed out. It's the only stats that I still have to max out. I'm like, oh my god, just give it to me! Senpai! Uh. Hey, Rise! I had so much fun last week! There was the culture festival, and then we had a sleepover with everyone, and then we also spent like weeks in this alternate reality where we met the cast of Persona 3 that we don't remember, but so that's a bit weird, but hey! I was very happy, I thought that I'd never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh, did you see the weather reports? Looks like the weather's going to start getting rough this weekend. We need to keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. We might be in for a surprise the next time it's on. <laughs> I, I, I hope I didn't jinx it or anything. Let's be careful. Yeah. The town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer has been caught yet. And we say all this within earshot of multiple of our classmates. And I wonder if they ever call us on that. Ever! <gasps> Nanto, what's up? Good day. It's afternoon, but sure. Um, do you have any plans after school? I'd like you to come with me. Yes! Thank you. I will see you later, then. You decided to spend the afternoon with Naoto. Yes! Now, I forgive that actually forces me to do it immediately. It does, okay. That's fine. Oh, god damn it, it's the seconds I meant to go to the stupid crane game! Ugh, whatever. So I'm gonna go flip plane. Now as I was thinking carefully, she stares at the two cards laid in front of her. These cards came from Shiroko's store. When I talked with the owner, her description matched the one you gave. She was able to recognize? Whatever. This phantom thief purchased these cards mere days before handing one to you. If that's the case, it's hard to imagine that any elaborate process was performed on the card. It's not as though they had literal days to work on it. Although I do detect the faint lingering scent of citrus. A very weak cologne, perhaps. Oh, big bro! What are you doing? Hi, Nanako. <sighs> uh, what are we doing exactly? Oh god, the death stares back. Uh... His card's blank. Are you writing a letter? No, we received this. This card holds a secret, perhaps. What do you think, Nanako-chan? <gasps> Ooh, a secret! I like secrets! I'll give you a hint. It smells like citrus. Uh, like an orange or lemon. Mm. It doesn't say anything but smells like an orange or lemon? I know! It's invisible ink, right? <laughs> we did that in our science class! Huh? <laughs> Impossible! He used such a basic ruse! Your house is closer. Let's go test this out immediately! Thank you, Nanko chan. You're a better detective than I. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Who are you again? You partnered with Nanako, who went to play with her friends and headed to your house. 
Well, now until this is my house, hope you like it. Your house. As you toast the card with the fire from the stove, burnt letters appear. It really was invisible ink. The citrus juice has stained the paper burned first, making it legible. The grown man employing such childish tricks. And the sentence here. Na 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 boo boo. The card reads as follows. Eating letters with a red face. Eating letters with a red face. This is... Uh, da 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 da. Huh? That's interesting. It's a mailbox. What was interesting was the fact that I'm looking at a guide with the social link, and I didn't get the first option. I think I know why. Okay, that makes sense, but it contains spoilers. A mailbox. I see. Ah, indeed it is. You're good with riddles, I see. Nanda smiles. She seems to be having fun. A mailbox. There's one in the shopping district. Let's go. The only one in the entire goddamn town. Central Shopping District at the mailbox next to Daidara. It seems there was something hidden behind the mailbox, which luckily no one else found in the several weeks it took to solve this riddle. This is... Grandpa had this? Why did he keep it? Good, you got it back. Are you kidding me? <sighs> what was it? Uh, um, now it has a strange look at her face. I made this when I was a child. It's a... D detective badge. There's no real function, though. A petty challenge, and the prize was this stolen detective badge. I have an idea who the Phantom Thief might be, but not none as to his motive. This is an important case to me, and yet, without you and Aniko-chan, I'd never have cracked it. Rather, I wouldn't have even bothered. You have my gratitude. Aw, thanks. Nanta's showing her unconcealed smile, the rare occurrence. You feel your relationship with Nanta's grown deeper, you're filled with more determination than ever before. Uh, power to create personas of fortune has grown. Determination balance can now cure severe ailments. Cool. Normally, I think this isn't time to play along with such games, but... I, uh, I think I'll let this play out. And, um, if possible... You're on your own. No, that's a bad thing. Let's do it! Um, yes. Yes, let's. <laughs> Nato's blushing. Yes! I'll see you again! You walk now to her house and went home. Oh god, so the next one's going to be the difficult one. You're back! So the next social link choice is incredibly important. But we'll get to that later, because that's the end of the episode, so thank you guys! So much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing, lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.